Hey guys, I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 4 Lesson 11 homework. So let's get started. Write an equation and solve for the unknown angle of measurements numerical, num numerically. Alright, so number one, we're trying to figure out A. And, alright, yeah. Alright, so first the exterior angle. Um, the whole thing would be a circle. And we know a circle is 360 degrees. Now, if we know one side, the exterior part, which is 320, then the inside angle here would be whatever is left. So, something plus 320 would need to equal 360. So, 360 minus 320 would just be 40. So, that means A is 40 degrees. Now, number two, um, again, a circle has 360 degrees. So we're given the inside, which is 45 degrees. So B, we have to find out the exterior part. So what plus 45 is 360? Well, 360 minus 45 is 315. <laughs> so 315 degrees would be our answer. Now number three. All right, so we have the circle kind of over here, just 360 degrees. So first we have 115 degrees and 100 degrees. So something plus these two numbers must equal 360. Now 115 plus 100 is 215. 360 minus 215 that would be 145. Because 145 plus 115 plus 100 is 360. So 145 degrees is our answer. <coughs> Alright, now number 4. Have our circle. So it's going to equal 360. We have 135 degrees and 145. 135 plus 145 is 280 degrees. So 360 minus 200, 360 minus 280, that's 80 degrees. Oh, we have to. So 80 plus 135 plus 145 is 360. So D equals 80 degrees. over here write an equation and solve for the unknown angles numerically numerically number five o is the intersection of a b and c d c o b is 145 degrees and a o c is 300 is 35 degrees all right so <clears throat> first angle e is over here if we want to solve for E, let's see, C, D, and do, first we can write C, D equals 180 degrees because it is a straight line. So if part of it is 35, then E must be added to 35 to equal 180. <coughs> so to find E, we can do 180 minus 35 which is 145. So E is 145 degrees. Now for F, let's see F over here. Again, CD is 180 and we're already given 145. So whatever F is, when it's added to 145, the sum must be 180. So 180 minus 145 is 35. So F equals 35 degrees. <coughs> All right, and number six. O is the intersection of QR and ST. <coughs> QOS, angle QOS is 55 degrees. 
All right, so first we're gonna find G. Let's see, where is G? Again, we're given that <coughs> line segment QR is 180 degrees because it is a line. So we wanna find G and we're already given 55. So 180 minus 55 is 125. <coughs> So that means G equals 125 degrees. All right, now for H. <coughs> Super H. So ST must equal 180 degrees because it's a straight line. And since we have 55, we do 180 <coughs> minus 55, which is 125. So 125 degrees. And also, H and G, they're intersecting angles because the lines intersect. So both sides of the angles must be the same. So for I, our angle measurement should actually be 55 because these two angles are opposite from each other. But if we want to check <coughs> I, we do know G is 125 and this is a straight line. So... All we need to do is 180 minus 125, which is 55, just like that angle over here. I equals 55 degrees. <coughs> All right, and number seven. O is the intersection of U, P, W, X, and Y, O. Angle V, O, X is 46 degrees. All right, so let's see. J. Where is J? J is right here. <clears throat> so we know, let's see, WX is a straight line. That means the line segment WX equals 180 degrees. So everything on that line has to add up to measure 180 degrees. So we're given 46 degrees. But this degree, we don't know how much it is, but if you notice that, this is a right angle. That means this part would be 90 degrees. So 46 plus 90 plus whatever J is must equal 180. So 46 plus 90 is 136. So 180 minus 136 Wait, 180 minus 136. That should be 44. Yeah, 44. Because 46 plus 90 plus 46 is 180 degrees. So J should be 44 degrees. <clears throat> 44 degrees. And K. Let's see, where's K? K is right here. Technically, this is a 90 degree angle, so we could do 90 minus J, which is 44, and that would, 90 minus 44, that would be 46. And also, K and 46, they're opposite angles, so that should definitely be 46 degrees. <clears throat> but if you want to do it with, like, the line... <coughs> We have, we know J is 44 degrees plus this right angle, which is 9 degrees, plus whatever K is, is 180. 44 plus 90 is 134. And 180 minus 134 is 46. So K equals 46 degrees. And for M, where is M? Right here, since we know that K is 46, 46 plus M is 180. So all I have to do is 180 minus um, 46, that would be 136. Wait, 180 minus 46 is 134. So M equals 134 degrees. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!